I really like Lego. And yes, you say Lego, not Legos. Just so you know, that is proper. And I like to take pictures of Lego, but it's kind of difficult. You can't get that close with a Polaroid camera. But there is a solution. You can put lenses on your camera and you can get pretty freaking close. Look how close you can get. But these only work on folding SX70 cameras. There's a few options out there and I'm going to talk about them today. So let's dive on in. Oh, and welcome into episode four of the Halloween special season two. So, I'm actually not in my normal car. <laughs> you haven't seen this car yet. That is because I'm actually restoring a 1989 Pontiac Firebird, and that's this car. Totally irrelevant to this video, I know. But I wanted to come out and talk about these lenses for your Polaroid SX70 cameras. These are like super generic lenses. They were mostly introduced for like phone lenses. You put your phone in the case and you could thread these on and you can you know, shoot some cool photos. Like this one, is, for instance, is from Beast Grip. It's kind of gloomy, but it might add to the aesthetic of, you know, the creepy, Halloween-y, spooky vibes. So let's uh, get on out there and shoot some photos. Okay, here we go. All right, this was a terrible idea. What was I thinking? Um, and plus, it's starting to rain way more. I didn't bring a raincoat, so. Let's go home. <laughs> All right, so what is this exactly? This is a lens mount system for your SX70 folding cameras. It is just like a little clip system. You fit right up on there and clips on just like so, and then you can thread on your lenses. And the mount system is a 37 millimeter. So whatever lens you can find that has that thread size, you can thread it right on here and use it on these cameras. It's really, really cool. And the lenses, I have a, a fish eye as well as a macro lens. It's like a two in one, unscrew it, and I have a macro lens. And then I have a 2X telephoto lens, and I have a super wide angle lens. Now, you may be asking yourself, Polaroid made a telephoto lens for SX70 cameras, and you are correct. And I did a review on it already, and there's a link in the description below if you wanna check it out. Uh, this is basically the same exact thing. If you're using a camera that has sonar, like a SLR 680 or just the sonar SX70 cameras, depending on what you're going to be shooting, you're going to want to click that into manual focus mode. Sometimes it has trouble with the telephoto and fisheye lens, definitely the macro lens, uh, focusing. So that's just another thing you're going to want to keep in mind when shooting with these lenses. So you may be asking, what about the Mint kit right here for SLR cameras? This uh, is a really awesome lens kit. However, there is one big aspect that this kit doesn't offer that this does. The SLR cameras, they are glass lenses. The Mint lens kit is plastic. So you're putting plastic lenses in front of a glass lens. And this might not matter to you at all, but if you're looking for those crisp, sharp photos, you're not really gonna get that from this kit. It's basically gonna look like being taken from one of these type of cameras. That's perfectly fine, you still get good images. This, it's just gonna add a little bit of extra softness to your images when you use this kit. And the price, this thing ranges all over the place. I've seen it as high as $100, as low as $60. It depends on where you go and buy it. Currently the adapter is about $30, $40. And even with these lenses for this mount, it's still a little bit cheaper. And there's a lot of other variety type lenses you can get for this. There's even like this crazy telephoto lens that you can stick on it as well. Um, I didn't go that route, but you can find those on eBay. They're about $60, $70 for that thing. It's like a 12 times zoom. It's kind of crazy. I would love to test that out one day. Good. Honestly, my favorite lens out of all of this so far has been the fisheye, which is funny because 
I'm not a fisheye lens guy. I've never liked that look and I'm from the era, from the 90s, all those videos were shot with a freaking fisheye. I swear to God that this 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 angle right here, this is my this is my youth. This is how the world was seen in the 90s. Everything was freaking fisheye, but I never liked it. Uh, but with the Polaroid, it looks freaking cool. I don't know, it just adds this really cool look. And I've been loving pairing the fisheye with round frames. The results come out kind of neat. It's like a perfect match. The only thing that does suck about this is I can't close the camera without taking it off each time. And you know, if, uh, if you're trying to do something quick, you gotta sit there and fumble with it and try and get it on. Hopefully you get it on the right way. It's kind of annoying. And plus it doesn't pack very well, so I'll basically have to take everything apart and put it back in the bag. It can be annoying. <laughs> but it's pretty cool, because it is glass lens. There's a lens out there or lens attachment that Mint Camera made, and it's really cool. However, you're putting a plastic lens onto a glass lens, it kind of defeats the purpose. Therefore, the sh sharpness isn't that good. Um, but these are really nice because it's actual glass. When you're using some of these lenses, especially the macro lens, um, you got to take account of two things. It needs a lot of light because you're really, really close to the, the subject and the light sensor sometimes can struggle to know how to expose the image. And two, if you're using the macro lens, uh, you got to remember to pull away the moment you take that picture because the photo is going to eject and like get jammed up into whatever you're taking a picture of like I did. <laughs> I'm noticing with the telephoto lens, more specifically the one I have, I mean, if you use one, it could be slightly different, but with this mount system and a telephoto lens, I'm getting this vignette around the corners of my images, which I kind of like. This adds a kind of a unique look. It's personal preference, but I don't necessarily like that in every single photo. So that's something to keep in mind as well. I don't have another telephoto lens to test it out with, uh, cause it, you know, it could just be this one and there's, there's hundreds of different brands of this lens out there that you can buy. Your results could vary, but in mine, I'm noticing a lot of vignette going on in the corners. Durability of this thing was something I was worried about. This looks 3D printed. I don't know what material they printed it with. Guessing it's PLA. I don't think it's ABS plastic. Now this isn't a 3D printing channel. I used to do that on another channel, but that's, that's long gone now. But if this is PLA plastic, you don't want to leave this in your car on a hot summer day because it will not melt melt, but it will soften and just distort and probably become unusable if that is the material that is being used. I've been using this for a little while now. I've been throwing it in and like I have not been too kind on this. I've been throwing it around. I've been traveling with it too and I've had no issues. There's no sign of wear of putting it on the camera and then like taking it off again. It works every single time. I don't notice any sort of scratching on my camera from this. So these are all good things from this. I really like it. I took a picture of this toy store because I'm actually doing a side project of pop culture, like Americana in the United States, you know? So I, every time I see a toy store, comic book store, I take a photo of it. I'm gonna make a book, but I don't know at what point I just call it quits. I travel a lot, so I try to get those when I'm out. Obviously I'm not gonna go to every single one of them in America. So we'll see what happens. It could be like 20, 30 years from now by the time I actually make it. I don't know. Let's find out. And also a special shout out to Caleb for hooking me up with this little mount system. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I've been enjoying the heck out of it. If you guys want to grab one for yourself, I'll leave some links in the description below to the lenses and to the mount and all that stuff. I've been enjoying the heck out of these and I'll be posting a lot of photos from this series. There's some already up there as of right now over on Instagram, just underscore another Chris, you know, if you're into that sort of thing. And I also have a Patreon page. I don't really talk about it all that much. I don't really like plugging stuff like that, push you guys to pay for stuff, but it does help support the channel and you guys can get stuff sent to your door monthly if you want to join the monthly print club into that sort of thing. There's a link in the description below. Which lens system is best for you? You like this setup or are you more of the mint lens setup? Let me know in the comments below. Let's chat. I would love to know your guys' thoughts and feedback because you never know. Maybe there's something I am missing. And be sure to tune in tomorrow for the final episode in the Just Another Chris Season 2 Halloween Special. We're going to be talking about a very unique Fuji Insects camera. It's not even Fuji. It's pretty interesting. Kind of wild. 
So be sure to tune in tomorrow for that episode, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Now, get out there, make some art.